everybody happy Sunday I am going to do a vlog the horses are getting massages today so I am going to film all of that I am going to ride Ten and Theo and possibly Olaf um, he got his hocks done on Wednesday so he was able to be turned out yesterday so we may just do like a little light flat and kind of see how he goes and then we will go from there. Massage ladies coming at 12. So I've got a couple hours. I gotta clean their stalls, do all the, you know, the barn work that I do on the weekends. And yes, I'm hoping my camera will be fine. I'm saying I only have 57 minutes. So we'll see. I may have to delete some stuff on here. But yes, or I'll have to film with my phone, which, you know, is a huge deal. I've got coffee. I had a really, really rough past couple days, just work related, real estate. It has been, I am physically, mentally exhausted and I'm just, I had a really, really tough closing and it's got delayed and there's just so much going on behind the scenes that people don't know if you watch my stories this will probably go up in a couple days but I'm sure if you are following my Instagram you'll kind of get the details of just of what happened but I had to take Xanax this morning because like I was having like heart palpitations I was so anxious over this whole situation and so I took a Xanax and I feel calm now <laughs> yeah I'm just tired because they make me a little sleepy so I haven't taken one in a really long time and I haven't gotten nervous in a really long time, but either way, yes, we figured, we figured this out. So now it's time to have a good day. Alex's parents are coming in town this weekend to help us with some projects on the house. So they should be at the house in probably about an hour or so, which they'll get there before I do, but we'll probably do dinner or do something like that tonight. And yeah, I'm at the point now we've got tomorrow is a rest day for working out. So I am not going to do a workout tomorrow. I may do yoga. So we'll see. I may end up doing like an active recovery day just to do some yoga and do some stretching, just to loosen everything back up. Today was cardio, cardio flow, my absolute most hated workout but I got through it and I got it done and it was tough it was tough so that's the plan I'm almost to the barn and I will see you guys when we get there
right, so this is Olaf. This is our first ride back since he got his hawks injected. He is definitely moving better, but he still seems pretty stiff to me just as far as um, being in his back, which can happen after they get their hawks done because they start moving differently. So it's a little bit, a little bit of a shock for him sometimes. So I just start off just trot. I'm not asking him to do really anything, but just trying to get him to go forward. He can be a pretty lazy, but also a very forward horse, if that makes sense. Um, I do try to do a lot of circles with him. As you can see, we are still in the German Martingale. He has not flipped his head hardly at all in the past couple rides, so I think he's kind of realizing, you know, where, where his body needs to be and how to use himself. And as I'm doing this voiceover um today is tuesday i went out to the barn and rode him on yesterday on monday and we did not use the Germ german martingale and he did really really good so i think we're gonna kind of go forward without using it and just kind of see how he goes and then use it as needed but he was fabulous yesterday so this was pretty much our entire ride i think it was like maybe six minutes and that's all we did just because he really didn't need to be doing that much with his hawks just being done. So just a lot of trotting, lots of circling, and yeah, that's it for right now, I think. I'm gonna pick up the canner here, yep. Transition is much better, much, much better. If you saw my Instagram post or if you follow my Instagram, I do a lot more like transformation videos of him and he almost looked like he was gated trying to get to the canner. His canner is much smoother, much less choppy. Sometimes it felt like I was being jostled in the saddle because of how jerky he was because he was so tight in his hind end and his back and he's much, much better now. So. Oh my gosh, he looks so good. <laughs> I just love this horse so much. So coming around here, he does have changes. So ask for the flying, not the flying, but just a regular lead change here. He can do flying lead changes. It just depends on it just depends on how the quality of the canner is. So I'm going to do another circle down here on the right rein. And while I'm doing this, I'm just trying to focus on keeping an even pace. I'm not really trying to force anything. I'm just kind of trying to be quiet. I don't tend to full seat that much, just mainly because I, I prefer to stay up off the horse's backs, especially him because his back is very, very tight. I can full seat on Ten and Theo, but Olaf is not there yet. I Ten prefers a half seat. He prefers me being up off his back and didn't want really to change there and he got a little bit, little bit uppity, but just trying to get him get him relaxed and just making sure that the pace is the same. I'm asking for a down transition, which clearly is, is not ideal, but he's still he's still a work in progress, but he's doing so good compared to where he was at before. He doesn't quite understand the stretchy trot yet, so I'm trying to encourage him to stretch down. He just doesn't quite understand yet and his back won't allow him to do it yet so i'm just trying to you can see i loosen my reins a little bit and i'm just trying to push him forward without him breaking into the canner trying to get him to stretch down but unfortunately he's just he's just not there yet but he will get there it's just trying to get him to understand what i'm asking and once he understands what i'm asking then he'll start trying and his body will do it as as allowed. But you can see he gets a little frustrated because he's like, what are what are you trying to do? He likes he likes feeling contact. He likes having contact in the reins. 
so he's just like, oh my god, what are we doing? <laughs> but he's a good boy. I couldn't, I couldn't even do this with him before. He would just take off. So I'm really proud of him. So as you can see, we are riding in a halter. So I just had this wild hair in my oh, butt. I just got my finger in there. Try Whoops. jumping him back in a halter. I didn't have a hackamore set up, and I didn't feel like taking apart one of my bridles. So I ended up just riding him in a halter. And I have not ridden ten bitless in 
I mean, legitimately, like, rode him bitless in a really long time. So I was really proud of how he did and how he felt. And, I mean, he didn't listen like he normally does in a bit. And I felt like he carried himself a little bit higher because I didn't have anything to encourage him to come down as far as, like, the pressure the bit puts on versus on the noseband. So he gets a little sassy especially when asking him to go forward but he does have some really nice moments like right here he had a really nice moment of self-carriage but yeah he's so good I try not to force him into lead changes because he ends up getting really really stressed out about him so when we come out I'll either I'll give him the option to do it. Oh. <laughs> Landed on the wrong lead and got all... You see, he gets just really, really stressed out about the changes, so I don't really ask for him. He's being good. Mm. Yep, I just got a full face. Snoot! We could probably put this one just up as an axe. <laughs> What do you think, buddy? You want me to put it up as an oxer? Just okay. go up to the top or to the. So, chipped into that one, but that's okay. He came out of it really nicely and landed on the right lead. It takes him a minute once he realizes, like, oh, we're jumping, this is fun. So, <laughs> there he goes. He loves to jump. Oh. And he's like, "Woo, celebration!" He loves he's to like, have I did celebrations it. after after the fences, which I just kind of let him do now because I think it's cute. There, I asked him to go forward a little bit, and he was like, "Biatch, please! I like this pace." So I was like, "Okay." He has. He's just so sassy. <laughs> so come around. I think I really like this fence. Yep, I had to push him a little bit, but landed on the right lead. Uh, celebration <laughs> and then just let him come down he's so good <laughs> so coming around here again I think these were like this oxer was maybe 2.6 or 2.9 gosh he's so good I just I love this horse so much didn't have a celebration there so I did to come around to the diagonal line. Okay. Landed on the wrong lead. Trying to get him to stop because he gets all stressed out so that way we didn't have to do a lead change. Well, you are riding him in a halter. So since we are doing jumpers, I decided to try to do some bending lines and rollbacks because he was doing really, really well and he was very forward, which when he's forward, I try not to back him off too much just because if I start backing him off, then he backs off the fences. So the more um, confidence he has, the, the better, I think. I don't want him barreling at him, but if he's wanting to, to go, then I don't try to force him, force oh, him back. Oh, your phone but just fell. He did that bending line there, and he was a little confused, but he's just so quick on his feet, and I, I really enjoy riding him in the jumper ring. I'm excited to see what happens at this jumper show in June. Two, three, four. Oh, there's 10! 
Oh, crazy, crazy. Oh, crazy. there's the old Come ten. We ended up knocking the standard with my foot because <laughs> we got too close to Damn, it. Damn, dude. And ended up knocking it down, and he was like, rah. So he got really fast after this, and I was just trying to get him to slow down. He was not listening. He's like, nope, nope, I want to keep going. I'm having fun. He's like, why? I'm having fun. <laughs> He's Damn just it. So funny. He's got so much personality. Yeah, he will. Quit. I know. I don't know if she has cameras on this side, does she? Yeah, she does. Hey! Hey! Quit. Good boy. What is your problem? You are so weird. You are so weird. Good boy. My grandma, when I was growing up, I never forget, she would be cooking and she'd be like this. <laughs> Whole time. Cooking. My grandma. Put your feet together, Kinsey, and then do it. There you go. Touch your palms to the ground. Bring them backwards. Further back. There you go. Don't bend your knees. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. Butt kicks now. Go. Yeah. Ten. You smile. Hey. Smile. 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 Nope. Nope. No. No. I can't. I can't help it. No. Standing still. God, you had the hardest life ever, right? So hard. Oh, close up of your your battle wound. Look at that one. And then, yep. There we go. Yep. Yep. Oh, that was nice. I'll probably have to go host Theo off. I'd like to be here when Emma gets done, so maybe if she yeah. can, I don't know if you're staying or you in a hurry too. No, no, I'm not. I think Alex's parents just got in a couple hours ago, so. Huh? No. Well, I like his. I like it. They're just doing housework, so I'm like, I'm fine. Uh uh. Stop. Just relax. I know you got food in yourself. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. That's a good job. So handsome. Uh uh. Uh uh.
stop. You have food all over your face. <laughs> Look at all over your face. Look at all that food. Oh, nice. I know. He's like, I love it though, but there's just so, there's food. Is this your favorite part? Yeah. You can relax. Yeah, how cute. This is Fio's favorite thing ever. Yeah, he's like, oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Food, food what? Maybe I'm not hungry. Maybe I'm not hungry. Not as hungry as I thought I was. Yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. They're, oh, flipping your tongue around. What are you doing? Oh, John. What the? What are you doing? You are so weird. He's like, this is so good. Camera off. Yeah, good boy. Oh, goodness. Now you're just being weird. I know. I know. He's like me. I do. I am the perfect thoroughbred. Uh huh. He is. Other than the food anger. Like, he is, like, angry. Like, he seems, he acts like he's just not gonna get fed. Are you being stormed or Yeah. Are you being stormed I mean, he does still have Stormcat in him, so. Yeah, I love him. I always get that Stormcat in perfect.